It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for this week's video, I am going to show you some of my thrifty finds that I have found lately. It's going to be a combination of garage sale footage as well as some thrift store footage. So let's take a look at what I found. So first off, we have a vintage San Francisco 49ers hat. It is old. It is valuable. I was super excited to find it. I believe it should sell in the 50s. It has a little bit of light damage, so we'll have to deal with that. Next, I am at a garage sale and I have found a flying reindeer Enchanted Forest Christmas Village. They wanted $5 for it, and this thing sells uh, in the 70s, I think, used. So that is a great pickup for sure. Next, we have a lot of Play School Weeble Wobbles. For those of you that don't know, these are polos, these older ones. These are from 2010. We wanted $10 for them. I talked her down to eight. I think I can get in the 40s for this lot. Next, we have a pair of Wolverine boots. These are really nice. They're in very good condition. They want $5 for them. They, I think they're new, but I'm not totally sure because that tag wasn't attached and I see a few defects. So I'm gonna sell them as new with defects and hope to get around like $45 for them. So definitely a good pickup. I should make some good profit on those. Now I am looking at some Blaze and the Monster Machine cars. I've talked about these before. What is so special about these ones though is they actually have some of the light up cars and the little tunnels. Now those are really good money. Lots of those have sold in the 50s. So for a dollar, this is a great score. I am at so it was kind of whatever that you wanted to pay. And I found a new wave oven. Now these are good money. So I ended up paying $10 for the new wave oven. And I think I can get in the 50s, 60s for it. Next, I'm looking at some Crocs sandals. These already sold. I mentioned them in a prior video. I, as you can see, $5 price tag. I sold them for, in the low 30s. Can't remember exactly how much, but they were definitely a great pickup. Always get new Crocs when you can. So I am taking these, I am paying for them, and now I'm moving on. Now this was really exciting. Lots of good books here, Vintage Goosebumps. If you're not picking up Vintage Goosebumps, you should be. And those Harry Potter books as well are good pickups. You wanna to try to get entire lots of all the Harry Potter books. So I bought those, they, they were very cheap. So I'll hold on to those and keep building my collection. Next, I'm looking at a Michael Kors bag. I talked her down a little bit on the price of this, um, I believe I paid 30 instead of 35, but I think I can get in the 60s for this bag. It's really nice. It's in near new condition. I like the color and the hardware, so I think somebody else will too. Next, this is more of a bread and butter find, but it's new, so when you see new stuff, um, this is a Destinations Dunkin' Donuts Florida mug, and at some point maybe they paid $5.99 at a garage sale, but they want 50 cents for that. Totally new, so I'm gonna pick it up and I figure if it doesn't sell, I'll use it myself. I used to live in Florida, I love Duncan, it's a win. Next, um, we're looking at Redline. This, well, it's not Redline, it's a Flick Tricks uh, bike. Redline is the style. But these are like Tech Deck and these are a little more rare and I believe it's new, but it's just missing the cardboard and they wanted a dollar for it. So I believe I can get I, in the 30s. I'm not sure, buddy. Stop signs. Next, I'm looking at some stop signs. Oh, yeah, two that I'm not sure. They want $15 each for them. And I'm only going to buy one because this is kind of more of a gamble, but I take the one that I'm focusing more on with the camera. And I'm hoping to get in the 60s. These are very large, so they, you know, they take up some space to store. Now I'm at Goodwill for the next few buys. Uh, this is a fossil bag. I actually learned not too long ago from Miss Philly, who has a YouTube channel. She talks about buying fossil bags a lot. So I have 
been looking more for them and this one's worth picking up i think i should be able to get in the 30s and i apologize if this footage is a little grainy um but i'm gonna get this bag and sell it for hopefully the low 30s now i'm at the other side of goodwill and i've spotted some jeans these are dripped jeans they sell them at zoomies you'll see that i take the tag and it's in the 60s that they sell for i'm gonna sell it maybe in the in the 50s but brand new goodwill wants five dollars i thought these were jenko's at first these jeans i'm looking at and unfortunately they were not they were some other brand which i still looked up but unfortunately they were not worth picking up this next find was really great uh these are bauer roller blades uh meant for roller hockey really and goodwill wanted 14.99 for them these are like 80 dollars skates and these skates were brand new pretty much. So this this was a great pickup. These I'm actually keeping because sometimes you find some things along the road that you want. So I'm keeping those and moving on to a different side of the Goodwill where I found a Lilo and Stitch plush. A little pricey, but this is actually a limited edition plush. So I think I'm gonna be able to make some money on this. It is a Disney park plush which always sells for a decent amount uh compared to well it depends sometimes they the disney store ones do well too but i should be able to get in the 30s now i'm looking at a sensi warmer um they've got some wax up there i'll have to scoop out that'll be fun but uh these things this is a discontinued style it's like a celtic knot and these sell in the 30s 40s and they want four dollars for it at this thrift store so i'm going to take it now I'm at a garage sale and I have found two plush I want to pick up, both of these pink plush. That bunny is a jelly cat plush, so I'll probably be able to get it in the 30s. It's actually a pretty large plush. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. And then the pig next to it is a Manhattan Toy Company plush, worth a little bit less, but I think I should be able to get in the 20s. Now I'm looking at a vintage baseball bat. Five dollars each. I w this one is old. It's heavy, but apparently people still buy these. I looked it up, and they were selling in the thirties, like the high thirties. So for five dollars, I am going to pick up this monstrosity of a baseball bat, and hopefully someone will buy it. Next, I'm at a different garage sale, and I'm looking at Fortnite figures. Now these could be big money. I'm also looking at Pokemon figures next to them. I end up taking both the Pokemon and the Fortnite uh, figures. So if you see Fortnite, it's it's definitely worth it. At first I was like $10, but then I looked up some stuff and it turns out it was worth it. Next, I'm looking at a Patron hat. As I've mentioned before, I love picking up liquor stuff. A lot of the times people sell it cheap because they get it for free. So they want a dollar for this hat. And I know I can get more than a dollar for it. I'm not sure what yet. I haven't, I just got this. I haven't really priced it out yet, but I'm thinking in like the low twenties. Next, found some vintage super soakers. You want to look these things up when you find them. These were 75 cents each. They've got some paint on them that I can't seem to get off, but I still think I can get something in the 30s if I sell these as a pair. These are old. They're from 2001, and people love the vintage super soakers. Next, I'm looking at this Discovery Channel Loon mama and baby plush they want five dollars again new plush apparently these are very rare these discovery channel plush they're from 99 and there's some of them that are going in like the 80 dollar range new so this could actually be a really amazing pickup that doesn't look quite so special when you look at it at first next i found a margaritaville maker 20 bucks you cannot beat that for these this is an amazing find. Um, this particular model sells in the $70, $80 range used. So we're looking at a $50, $60 profit for this. So that is a great find. Next, I found a Rudolph. This guy's actually really large. And as you can see, he's $2 and he's brand new. He's got both of his tags. His tag says 35 on it, but this is a pretty rare Christmas display. I think I could probably get double that actually for this guy. I'm having a hard time finding comps, but I think that's the direction I'm going. Next, I have found an Olympus underwater video camera. Two dollars they want for it. Even comes with a little armband so you don't lose it. Uh, these these guys sell again. I'm finding a lot of stuff today in the thirty forty dollar range, and I think this will go like in the low. 
Well, that is about it for the video for this week. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And also feel free to leave a comment about a find that you've had lately that you were excited about. I'd love to hear it. It's great when we can all learn from each other. And again, my name is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next week.